Alright guys, uh, give you a little update on this uh, 22nd, I believe, I don't know, I think it's something like that. 23rd, it's Monday. I'm on, on my way to Amarillo to sign a contract on two new pieces of equipment. You know, a new tractor, new, they're going to be new to me, they're used, but new tractor and a new baler. Um, I got a, I was supposed to be cutting today, but somebody, somebody ran into my wife's pickup uh, a couple weeks ago, and so we dropped it off at the body shop this morning, and we went to get her a rental car, and she set this up like two weeks ago, and the closest place was Rat Tone, which is a hundred miles from home. So we drove up there this morning, and like they knew, like the company knew she was supposed to be there uh, that morning, and they're supposed to have a car there. When we get there, and the lady who ran the rental department wasn't even there. She left to go to Pueblo, which is up in Colorado, uh, to another place. And they didn't have any cars. So, you know, it, it that turned into a giant pain in the ass. And thankfully there was a man there, you know, who was dropping his vehicle off uh, to get some body work done, body repair done. And he was a local there. And he was nice enough to actually let us have his rental car. Because she... You know, she has to go back to school at K-State. She's getting her master's, so she had to go back for, to work on her research during the summer. That's when they they do all that and their samples and everything. And thank thank God for that guy, because if not, they said, well, you know, we're, we're hoping to have two here this afternoon at 4.30. Well, it's a nine hour drive from where she was just to go back in, so. It was a pain in the ass, but, you know, thank God for that guy. She got on the road. It turned out it would have been faster for us just to go to Amarillo, which, that's where I'm going now. Uh, <laughs> so I drove 100 miles to drop her there, and then I got back to Clayton, and... I told the I told the financing company last week. I was like, they told me like the minute you know you want the tractor and the baler, just tell us and we will get you know the the two equipment dealers paid. That way it is here. Well, today I was like, okay, did you guys pay them? Like, no. Well, we need you to sign the contract since this is your first time doing business with us. Uh, and that had already been approved for them because on some other equipment I looked at since it was the first time You know, we have to have the contract signed. So then we'll do it the following day and You know They're saying well, maybe we can meet you in Dalhart. Well, that's tomorrow. So I wouldn't get anyone paid till Wednesday Well, they're not gonna ship me a tractor until they get paid and I just Oh, it's just a giant pain in the ass. So I am hauling ass to Amarillo. It's 2 o'clock. I'm going to get there. I'm going to pay them. I'm going to sign the contract so they can get the get this damn thing going so that equipment gets here. And then I'm going to go back and I've got like 15 acres left to cut on that job. That's it. Just some cleanup. So you know, I'm going to get back there tonight cut that go home cut some alfalfa tomorrow go get net wrap and parts and move one tractor and baler over there and start baling hay um, they kind of one of the guys called me and said that some of those heavy windrows were still a little wet um, that we first cut so he was asking if I had a, a rake and I do have a rake but it's torn all to hell and I really don't want to go buy a rake. I just I can't buy a rake right now. So I hope this doesn't become a giant problem. Uh, would not surprise me. But 
you know, and it's, there's, uh, there's people in the world who get really pushy about getting things done and who, who do it just because they want to be pushy. And I, I try not to be that way, but this equipment can't pay for itself if it's not here working. And that, that's the whole thing. It, oh, it has to be here and it has to run. And it, sometimes it's just, it's like pulling teeth to get anything oh, shit, done. Well, I shouldn't be filming, but whatever. So yeah, it's part of it. Um, on the videos, this, this is where my rant is initially going. I'm, I've been editing my videos right now I can't do that uh, I had I tried putting up a video the other night and I couldn't get it done because because uh, I've I've been avoiding updating to Windows 10 for like three damn months now and I I'd heard about it doing this but if you keep putting it off and putting it off and you leave your computer on it will update itself and I didn't, I really didn't think it'd do that, but it does do that. I uh, was uploading a video and during the night and left my computer on so it could post it on YouTube and it updated Windows 10, which is fine. I don't mind Windows 10, but the problem with it is uh, my Windows movie making software that came with my bill is now not compatible with Windows 10 so I can I can upload my videos or I can put my videos on my computer to where and I can watch them just fine there's audio and sound and everything but when I put them in the movie maker it doesn't it loads the video but you don't have any sound or audio I have a car right next to me and I'm they probably think I'm goofy as hell. Um, so that that's a problem right now. I I can still I'm gonna have to upload them uh, just by themselves. So there might be a lot of just random videos that kind of go together, but they're gonna be by themselves until I can get this fixed. I may try to mess with it tonight. I guess you have to just download a new version I don't know and I know you can do the editor on YouTube but my internet is so slow it is a pain in the ass because it takes you know three hours to upload a video at least three four hours and if you're gonna do the edits you have to upload all the clips then do the edits on YouTube and then then they have to process it and put it back out so it, it could just if I'm doing a lot of this stuff it's just gonna take freaking forever and that's uh, that's just not gonna work I don't have time to do that right now but I was uh, I was just gonna kind of see I think I'm gonna hold back on showing you the equipment just for fun I guess I don't know uh, and I, I don't know whether whether I'll do like a deal like if I get to 150 subscribers or or 250 subscribers I'll then I'll show you that equipment that way you know there's something to put up on there and you know what you guys are just gonna get to look this direction I was thinking about doing something like that uh, the next two weeks we're gonna go back to cutting for silage the weather has held us back and held us back it was too cold the uh, crop didn't set on good enough you know it just it didn't mature fast enough so it's ready to go now I'm gonna start cutting Wednesday afternoon and we have got to get it done because in three weeks well, I've got a branding crew gonna show up and we're gonna start doing ranch work and when I and I told I told the guys cutting for I was like man I I've had this plan for two months and thank, thankfully, he has something going on that week, too. So he's he is hard pushed to get it as done as I am. Because neither one of us can work that week. 
doing that deal. Now we'll see what actually happens. I may have to have somebody run a swap through for me, but yeah, that's that's kind of the thing right now. But no, I I know I noticed that my ranching videos just do a hell of a lot better on YouTube, and I'm going to do a lot of those videos. Uh, but like I said, I may hold off. I may hold off on showing you the equipment until I get so many subscribers just because all my videos now are farming <coughs> and you know really what I do is ranch and I do I do farming so I can pay for my ranching because right now cattle are in the shitter and they're looking like they're gonna stay there but yeah so tell me what you think uh, if you want to see the stuff sooner then you know go out there and tell people come watch my channel I'd really appreciate it I'd uh, love that you guys are commenting on the videos and a lot of the a lot of the comments are you know really really good comments and and they they make for great conversations and I really like that and you know maybe if we get some more people we can you know have some bigger conversations I I'm not really trying to get my channel to grow that's not what I'm after you know I'm not trying to be mr. one lonely farmer with 60,000 subscribers I've just uh, I think some more people to have a uh, conversations with would be nice I do really appreciate everything you guys have done so far but yeah so that's what's going on I'm gonna put this up tonight that way you know what the hell's going on with my videos and why I'm not uploading so many videos. But thanks for watching. Y'all have a great week.